Good day students, you're welcome once again to my channel. Considering that the WAEC exam has been fixed and uh, Nigeria has agreed to write the WAEC exams, the series that follows after this, we shall be looking at past WAEC questions. We shall be solving past WAEC questions. Today we shall be starting with uh, the question 1 of the 2019 WAEC examination. Now this will help learners prepare properly because when they solve past questions, there's a probability that they will repeat either that question or something similar. So you already have an idea on how to solve it. So for question one in the 2019 wire questions, it says, given that 110 base x equal to 40 base 5, find the value of x. And the B part of that question says, simplify 15 over root 75 plus 108 over plus root 432. All right, now, you can see that these two questions, we've already solved it in our previous series, if you've been following our lectures. The first one is on number basis, the second one is on sorts, and we've already done that. So let's just see how to solve these questions. Solution. Now recall that when we are doing number basis, I said when you are giving two different number bases, to solve them you must first convert to the same number base, and the easiest number base to convert to is base 10. So we are giving 110 in base x to be equal to... 40 in base 5. Now I want to convert these two to base 10. Remember, when you are converting to base 10, what do I do? I multiply by that base. This is 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 0 times x. Now let's now introduce our powers. Remember, you start from power what? 0, 0, 1, 2. So this will take power 0, this will take power 1, this will take power what? 2. Then is equal to convert this also to base 10. 4 times what's the base here? 5 plus 0 times the base is what? 5. This is power 0, power 1. Don't forget that. Alright, let's expand this. 1 times x to the power of 2 is what? x squared plus x plus 0. x power 0 is 1. 0 times 10 number is what? 0. Equal to 5 to the power of 1 is 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus 5 power 0 is 1, 0 times 1 is 0. So I'm having x squared plus x plus 0 equals what? 20. Bring this here, I'll be having what? x squared plus x. When this one cross sign of equality becomes what? Minus 20 equals what? 0. Alright, so we've been able to reduce this question given to us to what? A quadratic equation. Now you need to solve your quadratic equation. There are different methods of solving quadratic equation. The easiest method, let's look for two factors of two factors of 20 that when I multiply will give me minus 20 and when I add will give me plus 1. The coefficient of this is 1. I have 4 and 5. 4 and 5, if I multiply it will give me 20. I know that if I add or subtract it will give me 1. So it, my arrangement will determine. So I'll be having what? Plus 5 minus 4. So I'll be having x squared. So to change this one, I'll be writing plus 5x minus 4x because everything here is still what I have here then minus 20 equal to 0 now I'll take these two together I'll take these two together I'll factorize if I factorize I'll be having x into x plus 5 if I factorize here I'll be having minus 4 into x plus 5 equal to 0 so you can see I have x plus 5 here I have x plus 5 here I'll pick just one of them my x plus 5. And then the next thing I pick x minus 4. x minus 4 equal to 0. Now if I have x plus 5 or x minus 4 equal to 0, it means it is either x plus 5 equal to 0 or x minus 4 equal to 0. If it is this first one, I'll take this plus 5 to this side so my x will become what? Minus 5. If it is this one, my x, my minus 4 cross sign of quality becomes what? 4. Now, we have two values of x as minus 5 and 4, but let's look at the question. It's a number based question. Can I have a negative number base? The answer is no. So my x will be equal to 4. So 110 base 4 will be equal to 40 base 5. That's the solution to this question. All right, quickly we'll go to the B part of the question. The B part of the question. 
the B part of the question is on sorts. Remember that I told you that when you're solving sorts question, the first thing you need to look at is how to reduce what is given to you into a perfect square so that you can find the square root of that number. So I'm giving 15 all over root 75 plus root 108 plus root 432. All right, now I'm looking at this question. I want to reduce 75 into a perfect square and a non perfect square. So I'll be having 15 all over this with 75. I can write it as what? 25 times 3. Because 25 is a perfect square. 25 times 3 is 75. Plus root. Let's see. Because I already have root 3 here, I can check if I can reduce all this one to also root 3. So 3 times 4 will give me 108. I'll be having 36 times 3, which is also a perfect square. Plus 3 into this one, what do I have? 1, 4, 4 times 3. You can see that I've been able to reduce all into a root of 3 with a perfect square. So let's simplify this. I'll be having 15 all over. Square root of 25 is what? 5 root 3 plus square root of 36 is what? 6. I'll still have my root 3. Square root of 144 is what? 12 root 3. All right, I'll be able to simplify everything to root 3. Now, so this will give me 15 all over. Square root of 25 is what? 5. I'll be having root 3. Plus square root of 36 is 6 root 3. Square root of 144 is 12 root 3. 5 into 15 is 3. So we can reduce this as 3 over root 3 plus 6 root 3 plus 12 root 3. Now, I can still simplify this as 3 over root 3 plus 6 root 3 plus 12 root 3. Because root 3 is common, I can add my 6 and 12, which will give me what? 18 root 3. Now, remember, I can decide to simplify this myself. Remember when we did rationalization of sorts? We can decide to simplify this further. When we did rationalization of sorts, to simplify this 3 over root 3, I'll be having what? 3 over root 3 times root 3 over root 3. Remember when we are doing simplification of sorts. So everything I have here is still the same thing as this. Plus 18 root 3. We'll just continue here. Alright, so now because we've simplified this, 3 times root 3 is what? 3 root 3 all over, root 3 times root 3 is what? 3 plus 18 root 3. This 3, we cancel this 3, so I'll be having root 3 plus 18 root 3. It's the same as 1 root 3. So root 3 root 3 is common, you, you pick just 1 root 3. 1 plus 18 is what? 19 root 3. Alright, so students, now we've seen how to solve that question 1 which involved a question in number base and sorts. In our next video, we shall be looking at question 2 in the theory part of that same 2019 wire question. Now, throughout this period, we'll be looking at past questions and we're starting with 2019 wire question. We'll see how far we can go before the March day of the 2020 wire examination. I celebrate you.